High-speed quick finder runs at nine times normal speed. Pause and still button plus frame-by-frame frame operation. 14-day timer. Cordless remote control, which can also change channels on your color TV set. Warning buzzer prevents operating errors. The VS5 is ready when you are. The revolutionary VS5 lets Akai do the thinking. Look for it at your Akai retailer today. You simply can't miss. RCA Victor has built a tradition of continually introducing new ideas and products to bring new thrills and pleasures to millions in home entertainment. In keeping with that tradition, RCA Victor now offers a completely new development for new listening enjoyment with tape. Watch this. How long do you think it takes the average person to take off one tape and thread in a new one? Two and two-fifth seconds? Thirty-two and one-fifth? or a minute and 10 seconds. Let's find out. Ready, set, go. Two and two fifth seconds exactly. How did she do it? Here's how. The new RCA Victor conceived, developed, and designed tape cartridge for easy magazine loading to make playing a tape as simple as or even easier than playing a record. Simple, convenient, practical. The first truly sensible approach to tape. But that's only part of the story. The new cartridge cuts basic tape costs to one quarter of what they used to be for the same playing time. And here's how. The old real type stereo tapes carried two soundtracks, one for each speaker system. The new cartridge tape carries not just two, but four tracks. Two in each direction for stereo, or four tracks for monaural, giving twice the playing time for the same length of tape. For monaural home recording, all four tracks can be used, giving four times the playing time, giving you more uninterrupted music than is possible from a full stack of 45 RPM records on an automatic phonograph. And there's even more. On the old type tape recorders, the slowest speed at which music could be satisfactorily recorded and played was seven and one half inches per second. But now, high fidelity music at the new low speed of only three and three quarters inches per second, made possible by the development of precision controlled RCA Victor sound heads and precision balanced motors, the product of four and one half years of research and to be manufactured in RCA Victor's own Cambridge, Ohio factory. One whole hour of stereophonic music or two hours monaural in a single tape cartridge. In the past, stereophonic tapes like this one gave about 36 minutes of music and cost about as much as three LP records. But with the new tape cartridge with easy magazine loading, Living Stereo will be available at a cost of a little more than one LP record. Along with the new tape cartridge goes a complete line of brand new RCA Victor tape cartridge recorders and players in a complete price range to put the ultimate in high fidelity music listening and home recording pleasure within the reach of everyone. All models both play and record while all the stereo semi-automatics and fully automatic models record stereophonically as well as monorally, bringing the new thrill of living stereo to home recording. All models feature a fast forward action as well as a fast reverse for editing and selection. All models also feature 
an automatic shutoff that turns off the machine when the tape has finished playing. The tape is now completely rewound, ready for playing. No need for rewinding. The new tape cartridge is at all times ready for play. The new RCA Victor Deluxe models include the completely automatic features of reversing and shutting off, playing up to two hours of music at the push of one button, making it unnecessary even to turn the cartridge over. Presto, tape reversed, sound head switched to the B track, all without the touch of a hand. And now some more features of the dramatically new RCA development. For easy, convenient indexing, you have first the footage counter, giving you an indication at all times of how much tape has been recorded or played. Second, two conveniently located windows to provide a further visual check on how much tape remains on each reel. Third, for easy reference, the first side of each selection is labeled A, while the second side is labeled B. Conveniently packaged in a rugged polystyrene case that keeps the tape protected against damage. A package actually containing twice as much music as is found on the conventional 7-inch pre-recorded tape reel. All in one small, neat cartridge that does not need a spare second reel for winding and rewinding. A simple brake holds the reels firmly, prevents tape unwinding and fouling in shipment or handling, virtually foolproof. When the cartridge is magazine loaded in position to play, the brake is automatically released. Two easily removable screws permit the cartridge to be opened to edit or repair the tape. No need to worry about your pre-recorded music tapes being accidentally erased. It can't happen. All cartridges include a special feature that makes accidental erasure of pre-recorded tapes impossible. So simple, so convenient, so practical, so easy to use. And with all the unquestioned advantages of tape, now ready to move the tape recorder out of the closet and into the living room where it belongs as part of the newest and most exciting home entertainment center for the entire family. One more keenly significant example of RCA's aggressive leadership playing a vital role in developing a dramatic new product to further and advance a great new industry, the tape cartridge. A special lacquer master disc is closely inspected. For the 12 inch long play record, the master is 16 inches in diameter. Besides a spindle for centering, the turntable has a number of holes. Through these holes, air suction holds the lacquer disc down tightly, so it is perfectly flat on the turntable. The playing time of the music determines the number of grooves per inch that will be cut into the record. The sound dynamics of the music determine how far apart the grooves must be. Loud passages need more space between grooves. Soft passages need less. The cutting machine automatically spaces the music grooves according to the sound signal it's receiving. Now, a test cut to determine the groove width. The groove width must be exact, so exact that it is carefully checked through a microscope. Everything's set. First, the grooves in the lacquer master are carefully rechecked through a microscope. They have to be perfect. Now we proceed to make metal copies from the lacquer master. The first step, silvering. 
This takes precisely two minutes and 40 seconds. And the lacquer master comes out with a new face. Now by patient electroplating, we add a series of metallic deposits, one behind the other. First, a fine grain deposit of nickel. This makes smooth walled grooves and a quieter surface. Next, a thin deposit of copper over the nickel. A nice smooth salmon pink. Now, a whirling bath in another tank. A much heavier buildup of copper. We'll see why in a moment. We now have a master disc that is apparently all back and no front. But watch. Now we have two fronts and two masters. The original lacquer master is on the left. A new silver-faced master is on the right. But this is the point where most people long for a road map. Then, another separation. The metal master is at the left, and the new part, called a mold, is at the right. We have progressed from the original positive to a negative to another positive. The metal master normally goes back immediately to build up another mold, but that depends on the next important step. The mold can be played, so it is promptly readied for a sound test. The mold is thoroughly cleaned to prevent damage in the test plate. After audio testing, the mold goes back to the plating tanks. It produces the most important new metal part, the stamper. This completes the cycle. Lacquer to master, master to mold, mold to stamper. The metal buildup to the stamper is exactly the same, except for one thing. The stamper is nearly all pure hard nickel. Its ridges press the playing grooves into the finished record. Now it's prepared for stamping. Ground perfectly smooth on the back. Optically center punched for the record press. Trimmed to exact diameter. And coined. Given a formed edge to grasp the stamping die securely. The record press is a complicated piece of equipment weighing two tons. It molds records by compression. Our stamper is mounted on the top die. Below it, another stamper simultaneously presses the other side of the record. The record compound, the finest pure vinyl obtainable, is fed into the press in granular form. It is forced by hydraulic pressure into a soft plastic in just the right amount for one record. The labels are pressed right into the record. Now we're ready to roll. It has taken many steps and many man hours to get here. But a new record is stamped every few seconds. The record press automatically heats the vinyl plastic for stamping, then automatically cools it so the record can be played immediately. Here's the first long play copy to discover unlimited variety, the finest in sound and performance. Children's albums, the unusual, show tunes, or country music. Pop hits and jazz classics. Then, 
dance and party music? Mood music? Grand Opera? Vocal or instrumental solos? Symphonic or other classical masterpieces? The world's greatest artists are at your service. Panasonic introduces a new lightweight video system that's so automatic, it works by itself. The Panasonic video camera focuses by itself, adjusts for changing light by itself, even works in extreme low light all by itself. This Panasonic VHS recorder connects almost by itself and plays back a jitter-free picture in slow motion and stop motion. Put in a pre-recorded movie and this Panasonic gives you hi-fi sound through your stereo. Sound so far superior to ordinary TV, it stands out by itself. Panasonic video systems, just slightly ahead of our time. Shaping up your video is as easy as this with the HR7100 Video Recorder from JVC. With color-coded feather touch controls, fast shuttle search, a 10-day timer, and full-function remote control, JVC's HR7100 is simply great video. And its very affordable price makes it great video value, too. The HR7100, simplicity in motion from JVC. Available at Six Points TV and Video, Video Express, and Video Trend. If you're looking at video cassette recorders and you're confused by all your choices, just look at the most important feature of all, the picture. And Sony Betamax records a sharper picture than VHS. That's not just our opinion. In tests throughout the country, more people said the picture was sharper with Sony Betamax than VHS. So how many choices do you really have? Only one. Sony Betamax, a sharper picture.
There's a reason that RCA Stereo reproduces music with true concert hall fidelity. It's all because RCA Stereo is computer crafted. That lets RCA do things with their sound systems that no one else does. Like this RCA integrated circuit in the tone arm. It amplifies the signal right here at the source. It gets you closer to the music, gives you a much cleaner sound. Computer crafting lets RCA build in such long life that you get a 10-year guarantee on RCA's diamond needle. Hearing is believing. You know, in this gimmicky world of ours, RCA has never lost sight of what they started out to do, to reproduce sound with so much clarity and fidelity that you can close your eyes and think you're there. We could tell you that Pioneer's PL518 probably offers today's best value in a direct drive turntable. We could tell you its tone arm rides on ten times the conventional number of ball bearings for smoother tracking, or that its direct drive motor all but eliminates wow and flutter. But nothing we tell you will be as convincing as this. Pioneer, we bring it back alive. Bob Banks, Marketing Manager, Radio and Victrola Division of RCA Victor. What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new. It's an RCA Victor exclusive, made possible only through years of research, inventions, and innovations. Living stereo played on a record through the all-new two-in-one RCA Victor stereo orthophonic high-fidelity Victrolas. In this speaker, you can hear the left-hand section of the orchestra predominating. In this one, the right-hand section predominates. And together, they give us the fullness of living stereo. Two separate and distinct soundtracks. One from one side of the orchestra for one speaker system. Another track from the other side of the orchestra for the second speaker system. Yet both are coming from one record, one groove, picked up by one stylus. Almost like playing two different tunes on the same violin at the same time. To understand how this can be done, let's first recall how regular one-track recording is accomplished. Sound waves reaching the microphone are changed into impulses of electric current. Increased in strength by the amplifier, they flow to the cutting head, moving it back and forth and cutting from side to side in the groove of the record. To play it back, we substitute a stylus for the cutting head. The tip of the stylus swerves back and forth, side to side, in the groove, bending the ceramic bar to which the stylus is attached. When a ceramic bar is bent, tiny impulses of electric current are produced. These impulses of current, again strengthened by an amplifier, are carried to the speaker, where they are converted back into sound, the same sound we had at first. Now let's compare a regular record groove having only one soundtrack with the revolutionary new living stereo groove having two separate soundtracks. The soundtrack made by one section of the orchestra is on this side of the groove, while the soundtrack from the other section of the orchestra is on the other side. To play it, we use a special stereo pickup developed 
designed, and most important, manufactured by the radio and Victrola division of RCA. In this pickup, the stylus is fastened to two ceramic bars instead of one. As the tip of the stylus moves to the right, it bends the bar on the left, producing impulses of current. As it moves to the left, it bends the bar on the right, again producing current. Now let's take another look at our living stereo record groove with its two separate soundtrack impressions, one on each side. In cross-section, it looks like this. A V-shaped groove, 45 degrees on each side. Let's put our living stereo stylus in this groove. As the record turns, the right side of the groove reproduces the sound from the left-hand section of the orchestra. The left side of the groove reproduces the sound from the right-hand section. Now, both at once, two totally different soundtracks coming from one groove, on one record, with one stylus. This is living stereo. It means that stereophonic recording has been brought down from a relatively expensive hobby into the price and convenience range of the average family, giving them the tremendous musical experience of living stereo and doing so at popular prices everyone can afford. They will come in a brilliant variety. Every kind of music for every kind of taste. Along with the new records comes a complete, dramatically new line of RCA Victor 2-in-1 stereo orthophonic Victrolas covering the entire price range. All models will play monorally as well as stereophonically. In other words, it will play any record, whether 78, 45, 33 and a third, 16 and two thirds, or the new living stereo records, and all in thrilling new living sound. In addition, for those customers who have purchased or may want to purchase new orthophonic high fidelity Victrolas, and who may at a later date want to convert to living stereo, RCA Victor will offer amplifiers, stereo pickups, speaker cabinets, and the necessary leads to permit a simple and inexpensive conversion. And now, while Ferdy Grofe's brilliant and beautiful Grand Canyon Suite is being played, you are going on a ride. A ride on the diamond tip of RCA Victor's new living stereo stylus as it plunges down through a canyon of sound where music is made. Victor's new two-in-one stereo orthophonic high-fidelity Victrolas. RCA Victor again is first. The first in the industry to announce a complete new line of two-in-one stereo orthophonic high-fidelity Victrolas. It's the most tremendous new musical experience you can have. And now it's available for everyone. name, a recognized value. That's why Zenith is number one in color TV. This Zenith 25-inch diagonal chroma color tube, this early American style, or this modern console, all with one knob electronic tuning. Your choice, only $578.80. A super value at your Zenith dealer now. In Sacramento, see Zenith at Kushida TV, 2590 21st. And in Orange Vale, Roy's TV and Appliance, 8944 Greenback Lane. <laughs> In a 
announcing broadcasts, I've heard a lot of great music. But I got one of my biggest musical thrills visiting the Camden plant of RCA Victor. In that plant, guarded day and night behind these huge steel doors, I found a treasure house of music. The originals of the finest records ever made by Victor. The music of the world's greatest artists of past and present. These are the master discs from which millions of great records have been pressed. I heard the voice of Caruso. And I heard the voice of Shalyapin, preserved in gleaming metal, so that it can give encores forever. I saw one of the master discs of Sousa, one of the greatest band leaders of all time. And I saw records made, music literally written in wax. The first step, I learned, is to pour a thin layer of molten wax onto a hot plate, the beginning of the master record. A hot flame melts all bubbles and flaws out of the wax, which is of the purest possible grade. This is done in a sealed, dust-proof and air-conditioned room where the temperature is thermostatically controlled. A second going over with the flame and the wax is ready for slow and careful cooling, almost ready for the recording of the music. Meticulous examination ensures smooth perfection before the wax is passed through a special slot to the recording room. The perfect wax is put on the turntable, a cutting point called a stylus is adjusted, and everything is ready to record again the most popular selection ever caught on wax, the beautiful blue Danube waltz of Johann Strauss. The sound engineer is ready. The musicians are set. And I see a record made. engineer mixes the sound to achieve the best musical balance in the record. Vibrations of sound brought from the microphones pass through this cutting head to the stylus. The stylus, in turn, cuts the vibrations in the soft wax, records the poetic tones forever.
When the recording is finished, the soft disc is washed with nitrogen and put into a chamber with a blot of pure gold. A 2,500 volt electrical current, I was amazed to learn, bombards atoms of gold onto the wax, coating it completely. The gold-covered disc is put into a solution of copper sulfate through which a powerful electrical current runs, transferring molecules of copper from the solution to the record. As a result of this process, called electrolysis, the disc comes out plated with copper, immortal music written in metal. In a second bath, the copper coating is further built up. In these baths, electricity flows through the solution between two poles, one a block of copper and the other the disc itself. When the current passes from the copper into the solution, it carries with it charged molecules of metal called ions, which are drawn to the disc and penetrate its tiniest recesses, taking the exact shape of the grooves made by the original sound vibrations ensuring perfect fidelity of tone in the final record. From this furiously bubbling cauldron comes the master record. After the copper has taken the impression, the wax may be stripped away. This master matrix now could be used to press the final records, I was told but it would not last long enough to turn out the millions of discs music lovers demand. Hence another disc, called a mother matrix, must be made first, and from that, stampers will be made to press the final records. When the master is finally stripped, the last traces of wax are washed away. The master matrix is carefully rinsed and scrubbed. Then it's given another electrolytic bath, this time of nickel, which I learned gives it a still harder outer coating. After this bath, the master is washed and dipped into a special solution that coats it with a fine film. Now into another copper bath, and this time the mother matrix starts to build up on the face of the master taking the shape of the same grooves, capturing again the sweet tones of the flowing music. The double disc is now separated into mother and master, and the master matrix goes down to the treasure house of music to be preserved for all time, to take its place beside the works of the world's greatest artists. The mother matrix is thoroughly washed and cleaned and goes into a nickel bath to give it a more durable surface. After another washing and film coating, it goes into another copper bath where the stamping matrix starts to build up. The double disc bubbles in its bath until the tiny electrified particles of copper grow into a hard, strong coating and the plating is finished. <laughs>